Hello, hello. Very, um... No, like, it was... Uh, Frio, but it was... I mean, the cliche, Frio, but close, but... All those games were very close. Very, um... I'm excited to see who I play in, um... Grands. I've got that, you know. It's very, very nice. Very comfortable once you, like, win that winner's finals. So you're just like, okay, I get to watch a little bit of melee now. I get to, like... I don't have to play that lower bracket. And there's some tough people. Like, I had a free two set against Brad. Uh, my sets against Kai always close. So, I'm very happy to avoid that. Get a... Um, I set up in Grand, so... Yeah, we were both climbing today. Uh, Cloud's, a, you know, a little bit better than his. Um, I've been really enjoying bouldering, actually. Um, these past two or so months. Um, yeah, it's a work in progress, but it's really good getting some, like, some level of fitness, and it works so many muscles, so... Anyway, that's enough about that. What we've got right now, we've got Brad and Kai. This, um, they've had some weird sets. Like, last tournament, um, in winner's finals, Kai kind of washed Brad, and then in loser's... Not in winner's finals, in uh, winner's semis. Yeah, the point is, in, in winner's, um, Kai washed Brad a bit, and then it was the reverse in loser's, so we're going to see which... How they're both playing. Okay. It should be, um, hopefully it's a close set this time, because the last two times they haven't really been close in either direction. Um, Brad improving. Um, somehow, I still don't know, every like, tournament he just gets better, and I'm like, he's not playing. He's just, maybe he is, but he's, maybe he's playing against like, friendlies and all that, but like, he's not actively practicing, but he's still getting some level of improvement, so... Hey, what works for him? Um, I don't think I've ever seen... I don't think he's touched that way at all. Which, you know, is probably for the best, for a mental point of view. Um, at least the unranked views. Like, playing against actual... Just, like, utilizing the new netplay uh, framework to play, like, people that you know is great. Like, sometimes, you know, you can hit unranked and it's uh, it's a little bit of a dumpster fire. I always, I still do it. I like I like hitting um, the cues and seeing who I run into. You never know who you're going to run into, maybe a new person, and a little bit of gambling aspect of it. Um, who knows, you might run, run into, you know, treat it like a gacha game almost. You might run into a one-star Falco, but, you know, you might run into that five-star Falcon you've been looking for. Um, who do you think is going to win this, Jack? I don't know. Don't know? Well, okay. Let's see what I mean, Brad beat him pretty bad last time. Yeah, but the same thing happened also, in winners. Well, shouldn't FD be the counter pick? That's not what we're doing. We, like... I asked, um, oh, was it last Cheese League when we first did this set? Like, when we first did this, like, real set. Um, I was like, do we, like, change it to, like, FD being the counter pick? And I was like, uh, no, so, I mean, ah, uh, we should change. Uh, it's definitely not the most, it's definitely the least neutral stage. Hey, I'm, look, as someone who loves FD and benefits from FD quite a bit. I'm still fine with, like, FD and counter pick. I mean, I get Sadie. Honestly, well, it's probably benefits Fox, actually. Because, <laughs> like, no FD against Moth is a, um, yeah, like. one. But, you know, we don't do these rule sets based... I mean, we should be doing it just because I'm pretty sure it's, like, standard when you run for the stadium. Yeah, like, it's, <laughs> like, the most neutral stage in every game it's in, like... That's right, we're not here to talk about politics, we're here to talk yeah. about this wonderful set we've got right now. And yeah, we're not a little here bit. to talk about politics. So, uh, the election! Like, yeah. <laughs> Four more years. No, no, please no, please no. <laughs> no. God. That's fine. We'll be here when the rioting begins anyway. Oh, well, that kills! God yeah. damn. I guess he did shine him pretty high up, but... I was like, ah, oh, Brad's at like a hundred, he'll be fine. That's why he's not, not fine. That's why I lose like one in every three sets. The like last dock I lose against Kai. Does. The last dock against Kai is always that combo. It's always on your shoes on display. Lose. Like, shouldn't have DI'd the platform. Shouldn't have DI'd the. No. No. Well, they're both just. Oh, I love up throw nothing. Well, that's a bad one from Brad. Gets out of it to just be right back in it. Yeah, he gets back. Oh. Should he have dash back there or 
just nuts up. I don't think so. I think so. Oh, he tried to go for the slide angle. We assume we're gonna give him. Better. We assume I mean, he's not just going straight up. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> like, um, he went for the slide angle, just didn't get it. That can be tough. Unless you have a rush control. Or not, do we know? When? Oh, that would have worked there. He was just a little bit early. I mean, that, like, would he have. I guess yeah, oh, it yeah, wasn't no. a good enough ledge dash, was it? There was uh, a bit of gap. It might have been actually. Yeah. It, it might have been good enough. I mean, it's it's Foxy, it's species. You have to be 16 frames late. 16 is a lot of frames to be late. Like, it's not just a, it's not just like basic. It's like yeah, little obviously. things like um, dropping down from one. The point is though, it's like it's you have to really mess up to not be able to at least get a frame. Stop, yeah. yeah. You need shield. You don't need a lot. You just need shield. We're not trying to do a nair out of that. Actually, you literally only need one frame. Yeah. You only yeah. Need, yeah. So shield's frame too, yeah. Alright, good slide off from Brad. Wait, shield's frame too? You say shield's frame too? I thought, I thought so. I'm pretty sure it's frame 1. <laughs> like 99% sure it's uh, I thought it was, frame um, it's frame 1, but it's not big until like... Oh, maybe that, that might be the end. Yeah, yeah like it's not really doing anything until frame 2 okay, or 3. Okay, yeah. Well, Nick's saying it's frame 1, and yeah. anyone else? Yeah, I oh yeah, it, like, yeah. it's definitely frame 1, but like... I was gonna say, because like, that's definitely... Oh, it's, I definitely yeah. use shield for like a lot of 20, like just to test out like, just like buffering one shield to like yeah. test out. Yeah. Anyway, while we're going on that little tangent. Is it big frame on Nick? What the hell? Why did I feel that's... Oh, I feel oh that's okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, I thought cheers, that swapped Nick. over. I just realized we've been using the um wrong. What I hit save, but I didn't. Oh, the one game. Oh, that was messed up. It's all right. Yeah, if you look at the like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Because, yeah, if you look at the frame one shield, it looks tiny, but apparently the game lies, so. The more you know. Actually, we've got an FD, the classic. I mean, this didn't go that well for Lemons, so. I didn't watch this at all. I assumed he, like. Well, game one was close. Like, Lemons was, like, kind of half stock. Like, Kai took the first stock and a half, and you're like, ah, oh, this is going to be one of those sets. And then, you know, Lemons was taking the stocks, and then they went to FD, and Lemons stopped moving. He was just dead after that. Yeah. It's demoralizing. Yeah. It's demoralizing when you start getting hit by Falco. <laughs> Falco everything. We just... <laughs> or roll in shine. Gotcha. Classic maneuver. Ah, good SEO. People forget how good roll in is until someone does it to you when you're not expecting it. You're just like, how is I supposed to react to that? <laughs> I guess, yeah, I think. The idea is that you don't do moves that like, will, you know, like I know for myself, um, Roland feels really broken when I'm doing like a terrible nair into the corner. I'm like Ooh. analyzing. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. But like, you can, yeah, yeah. you can do many things to like. Yeah, it's more the fact that like, yeah, it shows. Sure yeah, like, it, it can it can definitely be used. And it can definitely catch out. You just have the mindset, well, it's raw. It's like terrible. There's like definitely times to use it. Also, oh, that always sucks. Yeah, like hit the SDI and then just forget to get the. Rag got Rag off very. <laughs> this entire. I mean, that was very lucky. He went for the um up tilt at too low a percent, basically forced the tech chase situation. He could have regrabbed. Yeah. You don't want to up tilt at that percent. But because like I yeah, if you up. get the like regrab, uh, like the up smash afterwards, it's not really a yeah. loss. Like it's bad, but like it's not a guaranteed zero of that. So like. Brad got what 88 for off of like messing it up. Like you gotta be happy with that. So yeah, that's, but he that's, that's the whole I reason you counterpick this stage. My right? point is though, like he got he got the um 88 because Kai messed up though. If Kai hit the tech, it would have been like yes, you could have tech chased, but I think Brad hit the tech chase. <laughs> I think he's covering tech in place or miss tech, and then he's hey, that's um, half the options, man. No. <laughs> oh, good uh, angle. I don't know Kai if you've comes. watched Caleb recently, but he doesn't tend to cover the other ones. Really? No, he, he tries to react. Yeah, he's well, yeah, yeah, in right. place. Every single time. Like, it makes sense, but. Yeah, he's no. like, oh, yeah. He, he like, got that shine, then he like. Oh. Oh, oh no. He got the shine, then he, was, he jumped out of the shine, and he was like, oh crap, I'm above like, this Falco. When if I'm gonna hit a shield, I'm gonna get shined out of shield. So he like veered back to stage to. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Kai getting out of you to drink water. Well, you know, it's um. Why? Sometimes you just don't want to be seen drinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. I 
Like, I, gotta, I remember all those, like, deep springs. I'm pretty sure there's, like, dozens, hundreds well, of, like, up to little, crystal springs now. Up to crystal. Like, I've been in water for years. Years and years. Um, no, I always take a sip of, like, just take a drink. Like, between each game. Even if I'm, like, in a perfectly good headspace, it's still, like, take a drink. Reset. Uh, what do you think of this counter pick? This. Well, as a counter pick, we like we always. I always strike Kaido. Um, I'm beginning I to mean, think. I mean, I do as might, well. That's why I'm. Yeah. Curious. I'm beginning to think it might not be. I think it is. Like, it basically depends on how much the uh, box is willing to use the top flat because it's a really strong. Box. Like, you can. Um, you kind of pop and then like if you're in an unfavorable position, you feel you can just retreat and like wave line the top flat. Yeah, yeah. And reset. Um, I don't think Brad's going to be doing too much of that. No, that's the thing. I think it's a great uh, pick against Brad. Then again, again, he did live to 140, so, you know. Man, everyone's getting good. Everyone's getting, like, there's so many people that are getting, like, improved. Just, like, see Brad in the club. It's, like, there's... It's really good that it's, like, shaking up that whole, um, tournament structure. I mean, it would if we had more than eight people. I don't know. You know <laughs> if look, they look, weren't look, all playing each other anyway. Look, look, eight people without dice. We'll get, you know, <laughs> one day we'll get a tournament where both dice, um, as well as, um, say everyone else. Yeah, it'll be cool. big people. cheese and we'll get 40 people. <laughs> 40, no. <laughs> we didn't say this. <laughs> but the big thing is, like, there was a period where it was just like, say when Nick wasn't here, every top three was like, me, Kai, Ruben. Yeah. Like every yeah, yeah. time about like if it wasn't it was like say Milo getting an upset or something or like <laughs> you have to go that far back as well yeah that's kind of the... oh double set we're definitely at the point where everyone's ready for one upset attack yep and it's just like the second and third ones they'll get you It was like dash hack. Um, it's a very risky dash hack because if he, oh yeah, he's really good at just pulling out. Like, what's well, like risk, up. right? Like, particularly if you shine and then wait for the like thing. It's like you could side be after him. Like, it's hard for Falco to get a big reversal off it. Yeah. That hit, that shine hit. I'm pretty sure it hit me. Wait, yeah, I, I know. I'm, no, I'm I'm shine is huge. It's big, but like, yeah. Brad's been using Brad's ground game has actually been like he's been dashing back, and, but he's also oh. been calling out um, guys moving backwards for front shots. Uh, I like that. Yeah, actually. I actually do. Oh wait. Uh... Uh, okay, yeah, Brad going for tech. Mm. So let's not get it. <laughs> we're two on up. I wonder where we're going. Um, we're past the like. I guess Yoshi's. I feel like Yoshi's is the... Yoshi's item. Oh, going back? Yeah. If, about if, you're, back. if you're close, if it was close, like, you feel like you had better of him in the I second mean, half of that if game. If he's not using the top platform, why would he not go um, Stadium instead? Stadium's awkward at times. If, like, if Falco like, sits under side plat um, and starts lasering... Can't like, you do that here? Yeah, but side plats are like a lot. Um, oh, yeah, I guess. And you have like top plat to retreat to, so you can mix up more. Was, um, I know, He's not doing that. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, I guess. No. It's like, I completely understand. For you, it's not a good move, but for Brad, it's just like, bro, he's on the top platform when he's coming down from the angel platform. That said, he does have a read on like Kai's drift off stage. So, yeah. it's obviously it's far too um, early to call. But like, I wonder where Kai will go if, if uh, Brad wins. I think we'll be. Oh. Uh, I guess Battlefield probably. Battlefield or Fog. But did they have Battlefield yet? I assumed that was game one for some reason. They might, might have been actually. Oh, I really like the idea though. That, that could have. Didn't work out, but. Gets the tech chase up to back here. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. He's blowing this Falco off. He's like. He, I mean, like, that's, that's what you're supposed to do, right? Like, yeah. Well, you didn't do anything really fancy there. You got two up smashes, hit a check chase. Like. Covered the double jump with a back air and back air him again. 
big thing is he's executed it all like reasonably well. He didn't get like get um, reversal on. That's so yeah. big against like the box against Falco because it feels like a lot of the times, um, <laughs> like half of Falco's punishes are based off like oh yeah, the spot dodge shine and all yeah, that. The box like just overextending, maybe messing up. I love that forward tilt by the way. That's so good. I wonder if it was intentional though. <laughs> if, uh, in that well, spot, it might I don't have been, think it, it might, might have been super Yeah, well, I, I think that also works. I think the four tilt's just way safer and covers the same thing. No, I haven't got a clean stock lead, but that's. Uh, they can be. Never mind, what could be getting. He's just. He's reading his second places. Either that or he's just like, well. The thing is, if you cover second place against Falco, and Falco is in second place, like, the punish ends, but you're not getting shined. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, because that's half the thing, is getting, like, reaction, you know, like, second place shine, and all of a sudden you cop 54. I was like, worst case scenario for Fox, if you're covering it every time, it's like, oh, yeah, I didn't get anything. Like, that was a day. Uh, that was an interesting bait, I guess. Uh, ooh, under Nair. Why have been using a lot more Nair? Like, some good, some bad. Like, he's obviously trying to hit the ginger, like, clean beats the upbeat. Like, yeah, but, to like. But there's been a few odd ones where I'm just like, ah, I don't know. Oh, that. cut. Brad's not a good himself, spot to be in. himself in a terrible position, and now it's very easy for the Fox to, like, get in the mindset of, I got a bear. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, this... These past two stocks, Brad has not had any confidence in his ledge ashes. He's just not going for them. And it's, it's not the worst thing, but like... Oh, it's, 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 it's I, pretty I, bad. I'd say he's... The bigger concern is he's just panic optioning up. He's a... Like... Yeah. Like, the fact that he didn't ledge dash wasn't the problem. The fact that he was just, like, spamming side B and up B. It's um, just like, kind of, I want to get back, I want to get back. Yes. A little bit of trixies, but it will have. I, yeah. I know myself, um, there's definitely been games where I've just like, I need to get back to center. Uh, we've got. I think, 